Uh, what did I just do? Reach for my hand, I'll soar away into the dawn. Oh, I wish I could stay here and cherish hearts in peaceful days. I fear the edge of dawn, no way time. Okay, music video. Beloved place, silver shines, the world dines, a smile on each face. As joy surrounds, come through the bounds, and I can feel them breaking free. For just this moment, lost in time, I am finally me. Neat! Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time, uh... New difficulty on maddening mode has been added. The Goddess Tower can now be viewed and the extras under Art Gallery. Cool. New DLC content available, I bought that. A new song, new attire, and new accessory. Okay. Additional auxiliary battles. You can retrieve items near your bed in the personal quarters. Well. Starting New Game Plus. You can carry your in game data over into New Game Plus. End game saves and New Game Plus saves are indicated by the Sothis mask. In New Game Plus, you retain your renown in hired battalions as well as your shop and saint level, saint stature levels. You can also use your journal to spend renown to unlock professor levels, support levels, skill levels, combat arts, abilities gained from mastering. Okay. Cool. If you have a Fire Emblem character amiibo, try scanning them in the amiibo gazebo in the monastery. Who knows what may happen? Would you like to carry over your data to the end game to the new game plus file? Yes. Uh just normal. Casual, cause you know, a scrub. Like, sure, why not? If it connects. Imperial year 91. I get a deja vu feeling here.
because Sarah's ear bears a striking resemblance to Rhea. I never noticed that until now. Do you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! Oh. Die! Die! You took everything that I loved! So y'all are just standing back and watching her fight and even struggle against Nemesis? Not cool, soldier dudes. Not cool. That's all I'm saying. Not cool. He's gone now, Mother. Hello, Dragon what? Lolly. What could have brought you here? Fire Room, uh, I cleared one story already, so I got two more to play through. Yes, yes, I know. Break immersion, I don't care. Uh, oh. I wonder how you got in here. Oh, I don't have auto advance on. To interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Last time I chose the male Byleth. Let's go with the female Byleth this time. Bit of a bit of mix mix it up a bit. I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? I'm a go- I'm a ghost! Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Ooh. Well, call me a demon then. Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. I can't be a smartass. You know, fun. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Yeah, I'll just go with Byleth. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Well, let's mix things up a bit. Let's just... Well... Because I don't know if they, if they will share a birthday, so... Hold on, hold on. Last time I put it as eight, let's put it as nine. That's actually my mother's birthday. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Oh, okay, that is intentional. Hmm. It all feels so... familiar. I think it may be time for... yet another nap. <sighs> It is almost time to begin. Cute. Hey, time to wake up. The voice of Igor actually voices Gerald. Again? I was dreaming about a young girl. 
You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Good Risking point. your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. It's interesting okay. how our hair Time is to get blue. Moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Oh, right. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with the situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Let's fuck them up. Again. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do five at a time and I'm not gonna save after battle before battle only that'll get me more organized it is whenever this game actually wants to load a skirmish at dawn an inevitable encounter where am I I feel like we've been here once before let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village take down the enemies in front first that should take the wind out of their sails. I know, thank you. Stay focused. I, I know how weapon durability works. I'll cut thank through. you. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. I will prevail. You have a strange aura about you. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. Ready oh my will. god, I know. Thank you. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. Sorry, but victory is mine. I know, thank you. Oh my god, I'm getting tired of all the tutorials. We'll advance, well... I know, thank you. forest we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage I know predictable Never underestimate an outsider. The 
use that all. Yeah, I know how to use an item. Thank you. This is a fine opportunity. I know how combat arts work. Getting a little tiresome with all the tutorial stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fresh game, fresh story. Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. As I've already said, the reason there's mercenaries in the village is because villages hire mercenaries. <coughs> Attack when. Another step forward. What are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> Hello, dragon girl. Well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. It. My name is Sothis. I'm aware, thank you. Hi. And I'm also called <coughs> the Beginning. But who once called me that? I don't think we ever learned that in the Blue Lions chapter. What are you talking about anyway? Uh, I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Well, you are. Phooey! That child just saved your life. And what does that make you? I am no child. Ha! <laughs> Such arrogance. You look the part, but are you truly an adult? You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. You stopped time? Hmm, I do not hear your gratitude. Perhaps I should force you to leave? There now, is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? You don't even know? Wow. What now? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. 
Now what to do? You gotta turn back time. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. You just... The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. I like this guy. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh... Why him? They have a history. Connecting, connecting, connecting to the internet. There it goes. Again, I don't, I'm not gonna save on the after battles. My on the last statistics. So much. Okay. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mach Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the Captain's child? That is correct. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? You got beer? Ale? <sighs> Booch? Whiskey? I like What's me some you, sour mash you whiskey. You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even yes. I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. I would. Lock Knights you. Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Mom, the voices in my head are back! Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. Yeah, 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 yeah. My drink's empty. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Who are the Knights of Saros anyway? You haven't heard of the Knights of Saros? The most That's what I said. of knights in all of Fodland. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the I Officers' Academy. I have a hard cider here, just because I like them. 
We were doing some training exercises. I got cheap at I definitely got the worst of it. Gumption hard cider. That would be because original. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Ah, oh, that's good. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't Athlete. followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Especially when you can't pick up on sarcasm. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me? Naive? Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well... Well, this time I'm going with the Adrestian Empire, land of ancient history. <laughs> A wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Claude is certainly something. His easy, striking smile. But it doesn't reach his eyes. Edelgard. She is a refined, a refined young woman. She's always evaluating me. And Dimitri. Quite sincere. A darkness lurking beneath. Yeah, there, yes, there is certainly the a darkness lurking beneath him. <sighs> I am so sleepy. What's here? Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... Part 1. White Clouds. Great Tree Moon. Three Houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlan, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. 
Three ruling powers now Oh, there's Elmira. The you see other re you see other countries. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. A collection of cities. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. So the Leicester Alliance is a bunch of is a collection of city states. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. I'm noticing that it the really is Fodlin in a nutshell. Violet the good is and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Of course, so is Edelgard. There's a lot of detail on the eyes, in particular. I'm noticing. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. That's a big honking castle. Church monastery thing. Pickles. And I don't, I do not like Manuela. I'm sorry, I don't like Manuela at all. She's annoying. I, I don't care for that kind of personality. Ray is here. And Rhea bears a striking resemblance to... Sarah. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? Yes, actually. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady Rhea. The Archbishop. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jack. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Kind of pompous Hello. one, too. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is Byleth. A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah, 
I can't believe it. Forced back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? As a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officer's Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Be gone, thought! Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. I when do. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Be gone, thought. So you're a physician, are you? <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? No. Yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Thank you, Hammerin. It seems you'll be taking charge Hammerin, of the Hammerin, academy's Hammerin, three Hammerin, houses. Hammerin. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. Please don't. The Officer's Academy. I know. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. I'm Their fully aware. Their this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess who is in line to be the next emperor. Yep. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. I suggest. I'm sure. I'm aware. Thank you. Have you no intention of this. changing your mind? I have made. I know where. I know. I I Thank remind. you. Sata, more. We cannot. Yes, Rhea. We've already seen this. In fact, I need to end the episode. I've been going for almost 40 minutes now. I'm at 39 and odd seconds. And this game has long loading screens. Long loading screen, long loading screen. The game takes too long to load. I can't tell if they change the sprite depending on which character, if you choose male or female. Cutscene! Deer. Edelgard. 
guard, who I expected to be a mage, but she's an axe user, which is interesting. Dorothea and Bernadetta. Hello, Ash and Annette. Ingrid and Sylvain. Mercedes and Dudu, as well as Felix. first talk. Your first task I is... I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished... May I ask a favor? May I, I ask a favor I said accept. I'm aware. Thank you. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I go and revisit with the students the fact that I've played this game for 54 parts now. I should have the monastery pretty well memorized, but that doesn't matter. Jo I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.